David R. here. Today I'm going to talk to you about this course, Understanding Investments from the Great Courses, with Professor Connell Fullenkamp. This course gives you an introduction to investing. The lecturer covers stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and much, much more, as you can see here. How investors make money, starting with stocks, the basics of bonds, introduction to mutual funds, investing in foreign assets, options, real estate, and commodities. Since this course contains so much information, use the book. Look over important terms, suggested reading, and questions to consider in the course book. Use Investopedia.com to assist you as well. If you're a math person, you'll enjoy equations like this one or this one. I won't be focusing on these, though. I'm going to cover things that you're probably vaguely familiar with but don't know a whole lot about. So let's get started with stocks. What is a stock? A stock, also known as shares or equity, is a type of security that signifies proportionate ownership in the issuing corporation. This entitles the stockholder to that proportion of the corporate's assets and earnings. There are different types of stocks like blue chip stocks, income stocks, growth stocks, large cap, mid cap, and small cap stocks. Stocks are primarily bought and sold on stock exchanges like the NYSE, New York Stock Exchange. Some are traded in a dealer market like NASDAQ. Most investors who buy and sell securities like stocks will have to go through an intermediary like a stock broker. A broker is an individual or firm that charges a fee or commission for executing buy and sell orders submitted by an investor. A broker also refers to the role of a firm when it acts as an agent for a customer and it charges the customer commission for its services. Let's move on to bonds. What are bonds? A bond is a fixed income instrument that represents a loan made by an investor to a borrower, typically corporate or governmental. A bond could be thought of as an IOU between the lender and borrower that includes the details of the loan and its payments. Bonds are used by companies, municipalities, states, and sovereign governments to finance projects and operations. There are four categories of bonds. Corporate bonds are issued by companies. Municipal bonds are issued by states and municipalities. Government bonds are issued by the U.S. Treasury. Agency bonds are issued by government-affiliated organizations like Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. You can buy bonds directly from the U.S. Treasury, or you can buy from banks, brokers, and dealers. Finally, mutual funds. What is a mutual fund? A mutual fund is a type of financial vehicle made up of a pool of money collected from many investors to invest in securities like stocks, bonds, money market instruments, and other assets. Mutual funds are operated by professional money managers who allocate the fund's assets and attempt to produce capital gains or income for the fund's investors. A mutual fund's portfolio is structured and maintained to match the investment objective stated in its prospectus. This is an example of a prospectus. You can download this one from the following website. I only scratched the surface with this, so if you decide to go into investing, I suggest you watch this course several times and read some books on investing. Anyway, that's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.